They been say double standards be like, and now chat, listen, now you know in life there is a lot of motherfucking double standards in this world. Let's be honest, there is a lot of motherfucking double standards. It, it, it's a lot of double standards. I'm not even going to get into him because I'm pretty sure he's going to cover all this shit because I done been fell victim to double standards. I'm pretty sure we all done fell victim to double standards. Y'all niggas don't have that shit go. All right, come on, though, talk. All right, today we're talking about double standards in society. And also we're deciding if they're stupid or not. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start off with double standards that apply to men. All right, let's First up, being short. Oh, look, bro. Being short is... Yeah, short. <laughs> hey! So all my short niggas out there, I can't relate. I mean, I mean, unless you consider like fat ten short. I mean, I don't know. Unless you like a six foot three, six foot four, six foot fat nigga, you might consider me short. But like, I don't know. Like, is fat ten short? I don't, I don't know. It, I don't know the norms nowadays. Like, I don't know. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say it's not. But for all my short niggas out there, look. Don't let your height determine, like, you feel me, your life or who you is, my nigga. Like my nigga Juicy Scat, stand on fucking bending, nigga. It's okay if you fat three or cat or, or you cat height, like, or, or, or if you like cast height, I'll talk at like 4'11 or some shit. It's okay. It's okay, my nigga. All right? It's okay. Look at all the short ass basketball, uh, basketball fucking legends and shit. Come on, man. It's all, it's, it's okay. The man is one of the most unfortunate things that could happen to you. Especially yep. in this society where every woman wants a six foot six ten inch big guy who also wants Hell a yeah. scam pack. And traps and scams, but somehow is a D1 basketball player. Don't ask me how it makes sense. Like when you're short as a guy, you get less respect. All your <laughs> friends be clowning you because of your height. Most yep. women will curve you if you're under 5'5. Five five. Even the ones shorter than you, which we will get into later. The only way to get oh, around yeah. this is by that's that's one thing that I don't like that I don't be getting when it comes to you bitches. How the fuck you be saying you want a tall nigga. The whole time you like fat three, fat feet tall, full eleven. A nigga could be like fat five, fat six, fat seven. You be like, oh no, you too short, bitch. You like fat, bitch. You like full eleven. That nigga tall than you. you it, whether you wear heels or not, that nigga still tall than you. And this coming from nigga that's not even short. I just hate seeing shit like that. Like, y'all stop disrespecting my short niggas, bitch. You ass, your ass is under fat three. The fuck you mean you too short for me? He taller than you. Come on, man. Y'all be front, y'all shit. You want a six fat nigga? So what? Fuck you. You mind? I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say. It's my little sister in the chat. <clears throat> I simply just be that. You either gotta be hella rich, be hella clouded. Pretty much like, like let's do Cat for example. He's like the best example of that shit. Cat's a tiny ass nigga, right? He a little munchkin and shit, right? But he has clout boost. Again, I'm not hating on my nigga Cat, but let's be honest, I nigga got clout boost. So a lot of bitches fuck with that nigga because, well. He's cat. And don't get me wrong, my nigga funny and too. My nigga, my nigga good looking too. You know, my nigga handsome, man. He cool. But like, let's be honest, like have the bitches that be like in his facility, let's be honest, wouldn't be fucking with that nigga. Because first of all, my nigga tiny my nigga cat tiny as fuck. You know? Cat cat's like compacted. He's tiny and compacted. You see what I'm saying, for Like, he a little tiny nigga. Or just be a good manipulator. And see, honestly, if you're a girl and you're tall, I can understand you not liking short men. I mean, who the fuck wants to bend down just to get to like, let's just be <laughs> My problem with this double standard is when y'all shorter women refuse to date shorter guys, too. Like, how the hell are you gonna be 4'11 talking about you can't date a guy that's under six foot? Like, bitch, who the fuck that. do you think you are? You honestly think- I just said that shit. Like, you like 4'11 say you can't date a guy under uh, six foot, bitch. That dead ass makes no goddamn sense. And it's like, for you girls that be saying shit like that, it's like- Hope you know it's actually real rather fat nigga that's like six feet, six one, six two, six three. Like that's them heights are not like shit that's like common. Like, you know what I mean, folk? God, I think you know though, I ain't know. I can talk about this shit all day. Think that your short ass is too good to date a short guy? Like you can't be a four eleven girl trying to fuck a six six guy. Like you, you see this right here, it, it does like this makes no sense. Like, look, this shit look goofy as hell. Hi, bro. Like, his dick is not gonna fit. You gotta be realistic here, baby. There's a reason why Shaq True. and his old wife didn't work out. Every time they got done fucking, it'll be like she had her period. Blood <laughs> everywhere. Call the ambulance like shit. Dude. Like, I know y'all female. Oh, my mama, folks. Tall man NBA player fantasies. But you just gotta understand if you're 5'2 or below, that shit would just not go. The next double standard is being broke. Oh God. Yeah. Whenever a man is broke in society, he's just considered a bum. Like, it doesn't matter the stage of life he's in either. Like, he could just be a broke college kid trying to make it buy. Right. The only thing everyone sees is a broke nigga. Like, bitch, the books don't pay themselves. Like, where do you think my money's going? And if right. you even dare to ask for money as a man, you will be ridiculed, laughed at, and straight Place up told to like get that? a job, little well, nigga. Like, all of your friends are beer. And when you go to actually get that job, if it's not a rapper, trapper, or a basketball player, then you're finna get caught. You just a lame-ass 
this nigga. Unless you work a minimum wage fast food job. Oh, buddy, you're finna get cooked. Anytime you try to talk to a girl, if she finds out that you work at Subway, you will simply just never hear from her again. Better start trapping, buddy, because that's the only way you, you pretty much just like play. a lame ass girl nigga. Girl is broke in this society. Fun. Then all of a sudden, she's just a hardworking queen trying to make it through life. Like, yeah, the girl could be a broke bum in the trenches, no kids, three STDs, <laughs> and the only way she makes a little bit of money is from her OnlyFans and approximately five down bad pay for on a monthly basis. But for some reason, she'll just be labeled as a girl that's in between jobs. Like, bitch, no. There's just much. a lot of niggas in between the legs. And if you ever catch a girl working that same minimum wage subway job, all of a sudden, she's a hardworking queen. Meanwhile, the man is just a broke bitch. Like, how the fuck does that make sense? If a regular guy comes up to these same broke females, <laughs> all of a sudden, you have to have six figures to be her nigga. Like, bitch, you work at Wendy's. What the fuck are you talking about? Next is being fat. Being fat. Oh, yeah, we know this, Norm. We, we know this. We, we know this. Look at my nigga Rod Wave, for example. That nigga get clowned for being fucking fat, but if that nigga was a, if that nigga was like a girl boy, and, and that nigga was getting clowned for being fat, boy, oh my god. We already know his dumb stance for being fat when you a girl and you a nigga. We already know that. As a man is way different than me. Facts. Talk to me. Like, if you're a fat man in this society, you're just Oh, yeah. Yo, you pretty much just a bum ass, lame ass, no pussy getting ass nigga. You pretty much, yeah, you out of there. You just out of there. Like, you gonna get clowned for the rest of your life. Stop clowning my nigga Rod Wave, man. Whoa, shit. Stop clowning my nigga Rod Wave. Exactly above. Everybody will be clowning you. You will get zero respect from anybody. And if you ever try to dare talk to a female as a Ooh. man, you will either get laughed at or they just <laughs> won't even respond. Which is probably the best option, honestly. And the thing that makes this standard so special is that it doesn't matter if you're a celebrity or you're fat. You're still going to get clowned. Like, do any of y'all remember that whole gunner slander trend that happened back yes, a couple years ago? People on the internet were literally crying this man gunner for just being a little bit overweight, bro. Yes, I remember. Still, he was a raw way fat, bro. And y'all niggas was cooking this man. Like, you dead ass could have scrolled on TikTok without seeing a Gunner Slater video. And again, Gunner wasn't even that fat, bro. He, like, was, he was just, he was my nigga Gunner was just a little chunky. Like, folks wanted fat at all. He was, dad's was just a little like, but that's it. He went like overweight or obese or none of that shit, folks. Y'all ass dragged that shit. Y'all bogus as hell. Damn, man. That shit. Yo, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Now that nigga swole as hell, and I don't know what the fuck happened. That nigga got jail, now he swole. Only two heartbreaks away from being slim. So imagine what people like DJ Khaled or Rod Wave have to go through. But when it comes to women, all of a sudden we're all about body, <laughs> body positive. Body positive. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face with this bullshit, bro. Like, if you say anything bad about a fat woman, even if it isn't related to her being fat, all of a sudden you're fat phobic. You're fat shaming. And now your career. There's no such thing as being fat phobic, but that's one thing. But we ain't gonna get into none of that right now. Your life and job is all over. But honestly, if we're gonna shame fat people, at least keep the same energy for both sides or just don't do it at all. Next is sexual arousal. See, this one is one of the most confusing to me. I'm not gonna lie. See, if a woman's vagina doesn't get wet for a guy's dick, for whatever reason, the guy. <laughs> hey, Bobo. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you something, though. I know exactly what he's gonna say. In fact, I'm gonna just let him say it because I know exactly what he's gonna say. I'm gonna just let him say it. Lame. But if a guy can't get hard for a girl, then all of He's either gay, there's something wrong with him, or. That pretty much it. All of a sudden, he's gay. Or yep. he just has... Told you, I knew he was going to say it. Which I don't know about y'all. That shit just doesn't make sense to me. So if a girl isn't attracted to a guy, it's his fault. But if a guy isn't attracted to a girl, it's also his fault. Or a nigga be uh, spanking his shit too much, but that's a story. But that's a like a topic for another day. How does that make sense? It's like you're trying to blame the whole situation on a guy. Like, if you're a guy you can't get hard for a girl, you're just not attracted to that girl. That's simply Facts. all that is. It's no, he could've given me wet or she could've given me hard. No, y'all just not attracted to each other. Y'all shouldn't be fucking. That's really all that is. But for whatever reason in society, it's shamed upon for a guy not to be able to get hard for a girl. But if a girl don't get wet for a guy, then simply the guy just didn't do enough. That's never Pretty made much. sense to me. That's the weird double standard and we need to fix that. Moving on though. Next, we got double standard Standards for women. Oh, here First we go, is being a hoe. See, hoe is one of the worst things you can call a woman. Because overall, being a hoe in society as a woman is one of the most frowned upon things. Your friends gonna look at you differently. Your family definitely gonna look at yep. you differently. Especially your dad. Oh my yep. god. Woo! And also, most importantly, men will look at you differently. 
Like, once men find out that you're a hoe, they will yeah, not they, take they, you seriously at, at all. all. Like, they might act like they're taking you seriously. At the end of the day, there's they only not. one goal in mind. So if they gotta manipulate you to get to that goal, they will do it. But as soon as they find out how many bodies you got, they will flee the scene Jeez. and just recommend you to one of their homies. But to be honest, it's crazy how much women will get bashed for being hoes. But when it comes to men, though, it's a- Hey, it's funny, though, because I've talked about this, like, last year. Like, I don't- I've never gotten that. Even my whole life growing up, it's like- if you old nigga, right? If I'm like me, I can go fuck a bunch of white bitches, right? I can go fuck a bunch of hoes, like whatever, woo -woo, right? I would get prayed for that. They'd be like, oh yeah, this nigga get pussy, boy. This nigga him, boy. He be woo, you feel me? But if a girl go do that, she go fuck a bunch of niggas. Oh yeah, they just gonna look at your ass like you just a nasty ass bitch, like bitch, you nasty trifling ass thought ass bitch. Like I've never gotten that. I've never gotten that. Why is that though? Like why is that? Like, let's just say if a girl say, oh, she got 10. Let's just say I got 10 bodies. Niggas not going to look at me at all. Like, niggas not going to. Okay, cool. If I'm a girl, I say I got 10 bodies. Then niggas going to be like, you got 10 bodies? What the? Wait, what? Oh, hell no. Yo, I don't I don't know. I can guess shit like that. I really don't. I just never. And I never will. I never fucking will. That shit is like so fuck. That whole double standard is so fucking stupid to me. Because how the fuck you going to say Bitches, uh, bitches are on like bitches be thoughts, but it's like nigga, you be fucking a bunch of hoes yourself. You a thought too, my nigga. Both y'all hoes. Like the fuck, come on, gang. Completely different story. Men will get praised for being hoes. Makes no the sense. More bodies you get, the more praise you will get. If Facts. you're a hoe as a man, most men will look at you like you're that nigga. Your friends yep. gonna love you. Your dad gonna be proud of you. And little boys will look at you as a role model. Because I mean, we all know the old saying. Like I even though this is a weird person, but look at Duke for example. You know how people be saying, "Oh, Duke, you're a bunch, bunch of bitches." Let's say Duke was a female and she, he, a bunch of niggas was like attracted to her. Niggas be saying, oh, hell no, she a thought. Niggas be calling her as a thought, woo, all type of shit. You see what I'm saying? You see the double standard when it comes to that shit? It's crazy. It's dead ass crazy, fo. Like, I don't know. I can go fuck a bunch of, uh, like, honey hoes right now. Niggas not gonna bad at me. But if I was a girl, I go do that shit. I'm just, a, I'm just nasty trifling as hell. I don't know, fo. <laughs> A Shit, key man. that can open any door is a good key. But a door that opens to any key has STDs. But one Facts. thing that I always find funny is that a guy can have over a thousand bodies, six baby mamas, five kids, bitch. Right, niggas be, bro, niggas be, you got niggas like YB out here with like 10 fucking kids and shit. Few, you got niggas like Future, like, it, it, it's like, you got niggas like fucking Nick Cannon out here. It's like, I don't get it. And niggas don't even, yo, I don't know, man. 17 STDs, two of which are not curable. Whenever he finds out a girl he's talking to has over one body, he has a Facts. goddamn panic attack. Over here talking about, oh, hell no. Nah. No girl of mine will be a hoe. I need me a woman or guy. Whole time, your ass got like 30 bodies and shit. <laughs> we know what ticket you booked, bro. Don't try to switch up now. By the way, I need me a woman with God. Next up is beauty I do. standards. Like, in all honesty, nowadays, looks is most women's number one value. Yeah. I don't want to hear none of that bullshit about, <laughs> oh, women aren't just about looks. They have way more to offer. Dog. But if we're being very real here, not everybody's going to be Katherine Johnson, bitch. Most women will have to rely on their looks to honestly get a man, which causes yeah. them to use heavy makeup, get plastic surgery done to their body. Yeah, you know, the BBLs, fucking... Fucking lip fillers and shit. You know all that shit, man. You know. But guys, on the other hand, we don't got to worry about that problem. Because if you're ugly as a guy, all you really have to do is just learn. Yeah, that's the thing about a nigga. Like, if you really, like, I say this a lot. If you really ugly as a nigga, you don't really have to get surgery. Really, all you really have to do is just, like, go to the gym. That's about it. Just go to the gym and you cool. Go to the gym. Take care of your hygiene. And you pretty much just get better haircut. You pretty much, like, decent. Like, you be decent. You go from ugly to decent. But for a girl stand, they pretty much have to do all this extra shit. And I, that, that's, that's fucked up. I ain't gonna lie, it's fucked up. They have to do all this ex, extra particular like ass shit. <laughs> but if you a nigga, you ugly, like, you know? Learn how to manipulate women. By the way, I do not do this. If you do that or get a little bit of money, you will be fine. I've seen way yeah. more ugly we'll guys get money. bad females than ugly girls pull attractive men. But as a woman, if you don't put some makeup on or get a BBL, you're cooked. I ain't gonna lie. Next up was yep. women's hygiene products and birth control. All right, bro. I'm gonna get some hoes on this one. When you really think about it, it's kind of crazy that women have to pay so much money for their hygiene products. Like, they Facts. literally bleed out of their coochie one time every single month. Imagine bleeding out of your asshole or just what your the dick. fuck? That will be painful. Nobody will 
supposed to do that. Like, I feel like the least we could do is at least lower the price a little Shout bit. Shout out to all the women out there. be that expensive. And also, men don't really understand what birth control can do to a woman's body. And the men that do know, honestly, just don't really care. I mean, girls just be popping Facts. that shit like candy. I've it heard really a lot of shit. It really does affect their body very poorly. Like, that shit can give you mood swings. It makes you gain weight. Also, in some situations, it can mess with your fertility. Like, women are taking risks by going on birth control. Like, I guarantee if men could take birth control, most men probably would. Okay, let's just be real here. We definitely would. Like, you're telling yeah. me I can bust as many times as I wanted any girl's coochie without having to worry about a kid? Like, cool I'm, shit, I'm, hell yeah. Be, like, let, let's just be real. Hell, I'll even be a test subject if you need one. I ain't going. But men in general honestly <laughs> have to stop expecting women to just take these shits. Moving on, though. This double standard is as old as time itself. Women are expected to be able to cook. Make sure there's not a single speck of dust. Facts, one day after be able to cook be able to clean be able to do this be able to do that but like when it comes to nigga you don't have to worry about doing any of that shit really you know shit even the ceiling fans and still be able to take care of three kids by herself which all separately isn't that hard but when you put that shit together it's a lot harder than you think like i guarantee if you give a man that much responsibility bro he's driving to the nearest adoption center immediately bro mm -hmm. you give me one kid right now hell that'll be my 13th reason bro. i ain't gonna lie to you because Facts. no matter what any man says that shit is not easy these single moms need more credit just mothers in general thank you single moms need fucking more credit shout out to my mama out there i love you Phone gray, single moms need more fucking credit. Do you know what single mothers have to go through? With a lot of kids and shit, folks, and single mamas need more motherfucking credit. Folks and gray. And also, as a man, you have to learn how to cook, bro. You just go DoorDash and eat McDonald's all the time, bitch. Learn how to cook, bro. But besides Facts. all that, that's pretty much it. Appreciate all y'all for watching. Go follow the Instagram right here. Go follow the Twitter right here. And make sure you go follow the Twitch. That's the most important. I'll be streaming on there like three or four times a week pretty much every day. And the streams be lit. And that shit been grown. So go check that out. Uh! Off brand. All of those links are in the description of the video. So go check those out. But besides all that, that's pretty much it for me. Appreciate all y'all for watching. You know I love all of y'all. Thank you. And goodbye. W fucking vid, man. Shout my nigga one cloud motherfucking nine on some shit, man. That was a W fucking vid, man. Fuck double standards, man. Love each other. Let's be the same, man. Fuck double standards.